A karyotype shows the size, shape, and number of chromosomes in an individual organism. And the karyotype shown here is of a normal human male. So what scientists do to create a karyotype, they'll take cells from the individual, grow them in a lab, and then freeze them at metaphase of mitosis, because this is the phase when DNA is fully condensed into chromosome form. You can see in this human karyotype that we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. 23. 22 of which are autosomes, um, which just means they aren't sex chromosomes, and then one pair is the sex chromosome right here. So you can tell this is a male human because there is an X and Y chromosome present. This is the X, this is the Y, and notice how the Y is a lot smaller. In females, there would be two X chromosomes present. These karyotypes can be important tools for analyzing and researching an individual's genetic makeup, particularly for identifying genetic diseases. For example, Down syndrome is caused by having a partial or full 21st chromosome. So it would look something like this. You'd have another chromosome right there. And a karyotype quickly helps identify this condition. A pregnant mother can also choose to have a karyotype done on her developing baby to look for potential genetic disorders.